Ross, do you think it's harder for your graduating students to enter the workforce now? Do you think it's more competitive, or is that just my own perception being a generation or two behind these students? I, I think it's always been competitive, and uh, you know, sometimes people use the word cutthroat there, but I've actually found that once you sort of get into the, the process of working there, once you get a job and so on, people are incredibly helpful if you've been a good worker. If you've done a good job, people are, are willing to help you find your next job there, at, or you build camaraderie amongst the people who do the same job that you do, that then you build this network of um, friends and colleagues, and you swap stories over coffee or beer or whatever when you're not working. But then it also turns into um, they get offered a job that they can't take because they're committed to something else, and they give that person your name. And, and so I've actually found that it, even though it's competitive, it, there's, there's no mistaking it, it's incredibly competitive, that in terms of cutthroat, I, I haven't had too much of that ex experience there. I've mostly had people um, treat me fairly well. So going back to the time when you were, um, those nine years, do you see a lot of parallels between what your students are going through, or do you, I mean, I realize it's a different ball game, you know, people are shooting with DSLR cameras and, and the web content and all that stuff, but do you see it as pretty much the same, it's just a little bit of a different animal? Uh, I think it's somewhat the same, but I also think that, that time gives a person a different perspective on it. I, I had a conversation with my students uh, last year. I teach a course called The Business of Television, and it's how do the networks work with the studios and where do agencies come in and the unions and just all those sort of the business model questions about the business. But at the end of the semester, I try to give them a sense of what their career path might be and say, if you wanted to be a writer, here's what a good first job would be, because you're not going to be a writer right away. You may have to be a PA for the writing staff and then a writer's assistant and then maybe get a shot at being what's sometimes called the baby writer on, on the staff and, and so on. And I went through this for different jobs, producer, or studio executive, and then said, so what you're looking at to get to this goal that you have to be a director or to be a head writer on a TV show or to be a senior executive at a studio or a network, it's gonna take you a good 15 to 20 years. And I thought they were gonna throw the furniture at me. I thought the student, they were 15 years? And so from their perspective, that was an outrageous amount of time. But from my perspective, I, I just looked at them and said, really, you think that having to wait until you're 36 to be in charge of a television show is an outrageously long amount of time? Do you know how much you have to learn to be able to do that job? How much just raw experience you need to see where things go right, they go wrong? How are you gonna handle that situation? So it is about perspective. And I can see it with um, students on a smaller scale. I had a, a student who really wanted to be a studio executive. And she couldn't find the, there's a clear path for that to be an assistant to a studio executive. And she couldn't find that job for about a year and a half. She had sort of piecemeal jobs there. But then she got a job as the assistant to the um, senior television executive or one of the senior television executives at Warner Brothers Television. And now she's moved up to the next job where she's a junior executive herself now. So during that year and a half, when you're a college student or you're in your early 20s and you haven't broken through yet, it's agonizing. It seems like an interminable amount of time. But when you do break through, you can look back and say, it really wasn't that long. It was a year and a half. But I, you know, I think the advice then for people who are aspiring is, you're gonna to have to be both patient and persistent. That um, there are a lot of people knocking on the same door you're knocking on, and so you have to keep at it. And if they, if they don't answer this door, try this door. Uh, if they don't say, you know, all those cliches, if they don't open the door, go through the window, and all of those things, it, it takes time.